the Congregation of the Daughters of the Immaculate Conception of Charity, FICC. From a humble beginning in Salta, Argentina, Reverend Mother Zara Lona founded the Congregation of the Daughters of the Immaculate Conception of Charity on September 8, 1949. Mother Zara Lona was born in Tucuman, Argentina on August 4, 1897. She came from an affluent family in the city of Salta, northern part of Argentina. She was then a primary school teacher and principal. She believes that mission originated from the love of God, that God Himself was the first missionary, and that this mission has to be carried on. A vision inspired her, and the divine providence guided her to the Conceptionist Brothers on Hogar, Leon the Thirteenth in Salta, where in her dream were the Blue Brothers. She immediately recognized them as they met. Inspired by the Lord, following the charism of Blessed Luigi Maria Monti, the founder of the Congregation of the Sons of the Immaculate Conception, CFIC, she founded the female counterpart of the congregation. She dedicated her whole life to the service of the needy, abandoned, and the young people of the local church. After a life with dedicated work and fervent prayer, she died in Bernal Oeste, Buenos Aires, Argentina on October 2, 1981. The small seed that God had planted into her missionary heart blossomed into a fruitful tree and spread its missionary presence in six countries all over the world where many of the FICC sisters live, work, and dedicate themselves to the care of the needy and abandoned youths and the education of the orphan under the guidance and protection of the patroness. Later on, a great and generous soul in the person of Mother Caterina Roncalli became the second Mother General and brought the congregation to Italy. From there, it spread to other countries and with abundance of His grace to the Philippines 25 years ago. The CFIC fathers helped the missionary sisters during that time and were accommodated by the Batistine sisters for almost one year in Paranaque City. A year after, the first community in Marcelo Green Village, MGV, Phase 3 Formation House was open. For the past years, many brave hearts have heeded to the call and the population of the congregation showed a significant growth. Its members involved themselves in various forms of apostolic mission, such as catechetical apostolate in the squatters' areas, visiting the homes of and attending to the medical needs of the poor, and rendering services according to society's needs. In the year 1997, the first perpetual profession in the Philippines was held. It was Sister Ines Angelica Tapia, an Argentinian missionary sister. A year after, Sister Eva Labiaga, the first Filipina sister, took her perpetual profession held in Mary of Good Counsel Parish, Paranaque, by Bishop Carino. In 2002, the second community was established in Amadeo, Cavite. The community also became an apostolic community. An orphanage was established in 2003 and is named after the second mother general, the Mother Caterina Roncalli Shelter Home Incorporated, or MCRSH. At first, it only catered three needy children until the number expanded. In 2008, the Barangay Authorities of Amadeo, Cavite, humbly requested the FICC sisters to administer the daycare center for children of kindergarten age. During the year 2008 to 2009, the FICC sisters started to operate and manage the center named it the Immaculate Conception Daycare Center or ICDCC. In 2009, a private school, the Instituto Maria Immaculada, Incorporated, was also established. 
the FICC sisters managed the school, and on the same year, we opened Loisa Monti Clinic, sponsored by Italian Association. With close supervision and collaboration, the sisters continue to educate the children with passion, excellence, good values, and discipline, emphasizing the value of Marian education. The parents are also learning along with their children in meaningful and holistic way, bringing the family closer to God in the service for others. Early in 2011, another mission was granted to the congregation. Most Reverend Vicente M. Navarra Didi sought the help of the FICC community to extend its apostolic ministry in the Diocese of Bacolod. Thus, three sisters were sent to Bacolod to answer the missionary call. The heartfelt desire to help the aging priests prompted the diocese to seek the help of missionary sisters. This is to administer the Domus Day the home for aging and dying priests of the diocese. Thus, in Domus Day, the third community of the congregation is established in the Philippines. Furthermore, in response to the congregation's missionary charism and pilgrim spirit, the community continues to respond to the needs of the children of God, especially the indigenous ones. From time to time, the community goes to the island of Mindoro to reach out to those who are living in mountainous areas. All these activities help the FICC sisters to develop passion for mission. The outreach activities and missionary works set the hearts of every person in the community in the fire of God's love and the congregation hopes to inspire more people to be drawn to that love. The FICC Apostolic Services and Endeavors are expressions of the congregation's sincere appreciation and gratitude to the people of God, especially to the generous people, our dear benefactors all over the world who, in their own unique ways, help the congregation to sustain its life, prayer, and mission. May the Immaculate Mother is praying for our perseverance and helping us to be more faithful to the witnessing of our founders. Be our inspiration to be more closer to her son. Amen.